Alright, greetings everyone, Luxor here, and welcome back to another episode of Gut Eater Resurrection. Let us continue with the game. And I mean, in the meantime, I did some like reading on the terminal, checked, changed my equipment and whatnot. I'm using now a uh, trainer and some cheats, so I don't have to be irritated. With stuff. Uh, actually, okay, difficulty is like basic, so. Let's begin with a review, shall we? Make sure you were paying attention in the last session. Slay the enemy. Be aware they are tougher than what you're used to, and will require some advanced tactics. Stay sharp. When there's no hope of avoiding an attack entirely, open your shield to absorb the brunt of the assault. Yourself in fighting trim is the only way to survive. It does, however, take a while to bandage yourself properly. Using stun grenades will buy you some time and space. Now, I think I'll have you fight the origami from before one more time. Let's see how you fare. Flash up! Your god arc has another special trait that you should make good use of in the field. Devour form. This allows you to take oracle energy directly from the enemies you face in the wild. By siphoning this oracle, you can temporarily increase your own strength, even to unheard of levels. Wait for an opening to present itself, and then strike with Devour form. From there, enter Burst Mode, and finish the beast. Swallow them whole! Flash out! Take you down! Let's go! If you devour an origami you've already slain, you can collect all sorts of materials from its core. These materials are critical to advancing our research, as well as earning enhancements to your god arc itself. Alternatively, you can collect the scraps that line the field during battle. Just to prove you can do it, please go around and pick up the ones we've littered about the training area. Training will conclude in 20 seconds. Yeah. Very well. It seems you've passed boot camp simply enough. Next, you'll go up against the real thing. Fight well, God Eater.
Oh, Lindo. The director said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet. With you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. Oh ho! Hey there, Rook. The name's Lindo Amamia. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. Endgame, I want you to be someone who I know has my back. And I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? Yep, and you're totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot! Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. Now I lost my place, so we're cool, yeah? I'm sending you out into battle, and I know that's scary, but look, I'm gonna be right here with you, got it? Oh, look at the time. It's half past mission. Let's go! Man, this place has seen better days for sure. All right, Rook. We're gonna get some hands-on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide. Use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules, then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. All right, kid. Let's get this show on the road. together. I'm excited to work with you. Now let's get out there. We're fighting little ogre tails today. Should be a pretty basic hunt. Nothing crazy or unexpected. Fingers crossed. I know it's your first time in the field. Just remember to stay calm. Watch their movements and strike when you see no Yeah, so you shouldn't stand right in front of a giant monster. Swallow them whole! Aragami down! Oh, They're weaker! Hit them! Hit them hard! Now we'll see what kind of power they really have! Target Aragami Die. has been neutralized. Well performed, God Eaters! I don't just hand out compliments. Rip it up! When I say you move well out there for a recruit, I mean it. I mean, I imagine those first few sessions, uh, sessions, fucking hell, I'm not playing a role-playing campaign, uh, first few missions will be pretty easy and clear, I suppose? Mind you, I did give myself a cheat for, like, better weapons, so... <laughs> of ground to cover so what do you say we just jump right in now what do you think an aragami is lots of words come to mind the apex predator the devourer of mankind god's given flesh well those are all right in a way these phrases while dramatic aren't misconceptions rather you could say they simply evolve from wonderment the speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them today we are striving for a deeper answer Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the Aragami come? History books tell us that they just appear, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> hey, hey, does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters! <gasps> Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill us. But no, that won't bring down an Aragami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Ha! Perhaps. But each Aragami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. 
So, how then are we meant to survive? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Um, well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! A biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an Aragami's body. That's the key! They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core. The cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures Aragami, and we fight them still. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of Aragami. Dismissed! Alright, I guess we can continue. I kinda... I know this goes with the story, but I rather... Anti-air piercing shots are most effective. Uh, hmm.
Let's see in terms of like weapons. Uh... Mission start. Well, mission start whenever you're ready. <laughs> Mission start! Did you get everything you wanted to? Extraction is en route to your location. Nice. Mission complete. That was like... Well fought. Wait, uh, how, 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 how am I? I can't wait uh, to get back home. Are you guys as wiped out as I am? I can't wait to get back to the base. I'm just. I have to say, you all looked amazing out like, there. How do you Elegant, target enemy? Dangerous, the model of which God I need to check because that might be important in the future. Doesn't say. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Controls. Um... Ah, Lopon, okay. Which makes sense, I suppose. Responses. No, we have a large origami in the area. A Vajra. Damn! Vajras are extremely dangerous. They're fast and relentless hunters. Engagement is not advised. Copy? Complete your mission quickly and get out of there. Please.
worth my time. Nice. Mission complete. Rip it up! Who's the guy got a god art to get a brew around here? Let's head home. I hope I was helpful. Was... Was I helpful? Yeah, and that enemy was looking quite, um... Quite dangerous indeed. But really, the game brings uh, to mind Monster Hunter, to be honest. Okay, so this is how you can do it. Interesting. Yeah, I hope the crafting is not like a big, big part of the game because I'm usually not good with that. Yeah, those are mine. Oh, I guess you... You're the new recruit, aren't you? I'm Sakuya, Sakuya Tachibana. Great to meet you. You look a little nervous, you all right? It sounds weird, but you've got to stay relaxed. We don't want you freezing up out there. Oh. All right, let's get to the mission briefing. You've got the lead today. I'll be handling the long range backup. So wherever you go, I'll follow. This is as basic as strategy gets, but it's the key to success when you're teamed up with a long-range god arc like mine. Oh, and don't go running off. If you get too far, I can't cover you. Stay within my line of sight and my god arc's effective range. All right, we're a team now, you and I. We look out for each other. Let's get out there and take those origami down. All units 
units are in position and awaiting the go code. Sakuya, are you two prepared? No problems here, Hibari. Let's get in there and win this. Is this your first time fighting a cocoon maid? They're a little scary, I'll admit. They don't move. I don't know if they even can. But if they catch a beat on you, they never miss. Watch your teammates back and never stop moving. Got it? Devour! spoke so highly of your abilities. You learn and adapt incredibly quickly. You're not afraid to try new strategies. Never let go of that. Are you ready? Yeah, I figured out you can, like, return to base earlier. Ah, okay. So, like, we don't have any missions? Because I'm not sure what's going on. What are we supposed to do now? Okay, I am not sure what are we supposed to do now. Okay, here it is. I didn't see it. Thank you. 
Hey, what's up? I assume you're the new star rookie everyone's been going on about. I'm Eric. That's right. Eric der Vogelweid. I suggest you do your best to emulate me. I've been out defending humankind for a while, and I think I know. Eric, look out! Whoa! 